Curtis D. Robinson, a prostate cancer survivor, put up $1 million, folks, to establish a men's health institute at St. Francis Hospital. We're joined now by Dr. Jeffrey Steinberg, who's chairman of surgery at the hospital, Curtis Robinson, who's been here. This is a big deal. Mr. Robinson, you're a prostate cancer survivor, and you decided to do something about it. Quickly tell us uh, your battle with cancer and why this mm -hmm. enormous yeah. gift. Well, in 1997, I was uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer, and uh, I was lucky enough to have a doctor, some physicians who caught it in time and took it out before it spread it, you know, before it had a chance to spread out outside of the prostate. And, uh, you know, it was interesting. You know, I'm on the board of St. Francis Hospital, and we saw so many men coming into the hospital that was dying from, from prostate cancer. So uh, Dr. Steinberg and I got together, and I said, gee, well, why are these men dying? And he said, well, because they don't, they don't have doctors. And, uh, and, and, and unfortunately, when we see them in the emergency room, the PSA have escalated to a level that the cancer is, is outside now the prostate, and uh, it, 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 it's, it's in the lymph nodes and it's all over it's the body. Late. So I said, well, how do we stop this, Doc? He said, well, we have to set up our men health institute so we can go out and do pre-screening. And that's what we did. So, you know. so, Dr. Walker, through this now, this is mm -hmm. a, a sure. big problem, a particular problem among black males who are right. more vulnerable when, when they catch it because they catch it late. Your thoughts on this and what you can do with it? Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men, and it's even more prevalent in African-American men. So you go from one in six incidents to one in four in African-American men. And not only is it more common, it's more aggressive in African-American men, and it occurs at a younger age. And there's been, you know, there's some, some reluctance to be tested for prostate cancer. And, uh, what we Why? Are, because it's considered invasive well, or intrusive? It, or? It, 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 people don't like to talk about it. They don't like the exam, although it's quick. A digital mm. rectal examination lasts five seconds. People don't like to go through that. And it also consists of a simple blood test, the PSA blood test. So through my experience, mostly working in Boston, there were many outreach programs to do testing in the community, but there were no programs to provide care for patients who were diagnosed who didn't have insurance. So Curtis and I and some others at St. Francis came up with the concept of the Curtis D. Robinson Men's Health Institute. Curt Curtis is generously funded. Um, and uh, we also got some grant funding through the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. And what we provide are educational uh, sessions in the community, mostly at churches and other community organizations. We do free testing there. And then if they do have abnormalities on their tests, they'll come back to St. Francis. If they have no insurance, they'll get that additional testing, including a biopsy for free. And if they're diagnosed with prostate cancer, they'll get the most modern technologies to treat it, including da Vinci robotic surgery, cyber knife if it's appropriate, a hormonal therapy, the whole armamentarium of treatments which we have at St. Francis to treat prostate cancer. So the good news here is that if you get it diagnosed early, it's imminently treatable. That's, that's the key. Because right. right. now there's all kinds of technology where they can nip this thing in the yeah. bud, so to speak, and it, that's very important. It's very curable when caught in the early stages within the prostate. Once it goes outside the prostate, it's treatable, but not necessarily curable. And what age are we talking about for most men and for black males? We start, we start at age 40, and what we recommend, uh, the American Urologic Association recommends that we have that discussion with every man starting at the age of 40 about having an annual PSA and digital rectal examination and then having it yearly. Let's talk about symptoms. Um, mm -hmm. What kind of things are we talking about if you're out there and say, okay, what are the symptoms? If I... Well, that's important because this is a silent cancer in the early stages, Stan. Uh, there are no symptoms, and uh, even the, the doctor may not feel anything on a digital rectal examination. So that's why the PSA blood test is very important because that may be the first thing to go up to indicate that there's some abnormality going on. So early on, there are no symptoms. It's a silent cancer. It's in the later stages when men, men may have difficulty urinating, may have blood in the urine, or other symptoms if it spreads throughout the body. So we want to catch it at the very early stages. That's why men say, I feel fine. Right. I don't have any symptoms. Well, you need to be tested. But the scary part is you're saying that if you have symptoms, it may be too late. It now you're just getting a little serious. So that's why it's important to that's get it done right. early. Mm -hmm. So it's the first year of the program now. Awareness is out there. You're hitting the churches. I guess what's new, this new technology I'm hearing now, you can have a, a surgeon, I guess, upstairs in a different room than the surgery yeah. room. And you can operate on a prostate without the surgeon actually being in the room. Talk about that. Well, we do uh, da Vinci robotic surgery. But we we are in the room, and okay. the advantage is we sit at a video console, and we're able to manipulate instruments put in through very tiny incisions through the belly, so there's much less pain, much less incisions, and able to very precisely dissect out the prostate, but preserve the adjacent structures which control a man's potency and continence. We get much better results, a shorter hospital stay, 
better cancer-free margins, and the man is back to work or back home much, much quicker because of the small incisions and the very accurate surgery we're able to do through the Da Vinci system. All right, so early testing is critical. Ms. Robinson, for those folks out there dealing with prostate cancer mm -hmm. or who will soon be dealing with it or families, what do you tell them? You look great. You take yeah. a picture of health. What was your secret to getting yourself back on your feet? Well, I tell them that, you know, if you're getting up in the middle of the night, continuously going to the bathroom, uh, you know, uh, if you having, uh, uh, you're very hard to start when you, you know, when you go to the bathroom, it's different. You need to see a doctor. You need to see someone. We have about 30 okay. seconds. Let me get you to what got you back on your feet. As opposed to the symptoms, what do you think helped to get you where you're looking, the picture of health? Well, the thing is, is that, you know, I did everything the doctor told me to do, and we got it out, and, uh, and uh, the thing is, for that, you know, I want to make sure I didn't die from it. And the thing is, I don't want to see anybody pass away because they don't have insurance. Okay? And the thing is, is that, you know, St. Francis is the most wonderful hospital in the country. I mean, we're the only with the hospital that we know that you can come to the hospital and get treated. I mean, come to the institute and get treated. And we'll take this out. Dr. Steinberg and Dr. Sergeant will take it out for no cost. Right. And that's because of St. Francis, and that's who St. Francis is. All right. Well, right now, they're running me out of time. Now, guys, I want to thank all our guests, Curtis Robinson and Jeffrey Steinberg. You can send your show comments or requests, or you'll watch us again at ctnow.com and friend us on Facebook. Become a fan of the Stan Simpson Show. We're on Twitter, too. Look out for our tweets. Lori Perez and The Real Story are next for the good folks here at Fox 61. I'm Stan Simpson. We'll see you next week.